Okay, Jeep Compass with a throttle body fault. Uh, this will bring up the throttle body light on your dash. Looks like a little little throttle on your Jeep Compass. Uh, we will show you the cause. Basically, it is the throttle body itself, but we will uh, look at all the data to confirm that. Okay, we've got a 2014 Jeep Compass. Okay, current situation when I turn the key on we get that clicking uh, coming from the throttle so the throttle flap moves once and then uh, just clicks like there's something slipping in the throttle body and when it's running we've got our engine light we've got this other throttle light flashing and our traction control and in our codes the bits that we've been doing so there's quite a vibration as well as it's running of course because it's limiting the engine okay and these are our codes ah uh, don't worry about intake air temperature sensor that's only because I have it plugged unplugged currently uh, because I have the throttle intake pipe off okay So even so electronic throttle control ETC motor performance um, and force limit uh, so this can be caused by this code according to auto data uh, and when I come into active test and somewhere in here no I didn't have one in there sorry I'll go system check there's no active test for the throttle body on this scan tool okay but I can do it and here in system test okay and so up here APP is accelerator pedal position okay so as I move the accelerator I can see that that changes, but nothing happening on my throttle position sensors here. And throttle blade remains at 13%. Okay, and I can confirm even with the engine running, as you move the accelerator, the throttle flap itself does not move. That's why I've got that intake pipe off to check that. Okay, so we've also confirmed with the vehicle running um, and getting somebody else to put their foot on the gas that the throttle flap does not move at all when you start it up to idle it flaps once and then it sits there and you can just hear the gears um, slipping inside so we've got a new throttle body to fit on it and we'll see how it goes okay so throttle body more room if you take the battery out and then take this ear hose off this plug it's got a slide slide that tab back so you can press that down get that plug off um, there's a plug on the throttle body itself your focus down here um, there's a tab on either side to pull and then four bolts around the throttle body and this one up here just to um, be able to get the bracket out of the way so you can get it off Okay, old one off now, and new one on. Okay, so um, just a bit of a side note on this. I had one code remaining in this for throttle valve cannot close with this new throttle body. Um, and so I pulled it back off uh, just to make sure there was nothing jamming it up or anything like that. And it turns out that the throttle valve was just sticking so I just gave it a little push to help it get started and then it would go back to the closed position and it has got rid of that code. So now we will reassemble again and then start it up. Okay, so now we've freed up the throttle butterfly. We are all codes cleared and a throttle relearn done just to be sure.
lights are gone and we've got a perfect idle. Ignore the other ticking, that's the heater flap, that's another problem for another day. But that is all sorted, go for a drive. Okay, I hope that has helped you out today. Don't forget to click a like and subscribe for more real tips from real mechanics.